Now, I'm no investigative journalist, but we're going to get to the bottom of this Trump Bush funeral fiasco right now. I'm going to take you through three different pieces of video footage from three separate news stations. The Ginger Inspector Gadget is going to piece the whole thing together for you because you know as well as I what happens when you go to a news channel. Well, they try to convince you that the guy whose party they're behind is right and everyone else is wrong, but not me. I'm a social scientist. I have no political bias. I have one goal, to teach you what's going on socially so you can decide what was right and what was wrong and learn and apply it in your life because I want you to feel confident when you go out there and are around people socially at work or anywhere else you are. At the end of the clip, not now, but once I've taken you through all the different analysis, I want you to let me know in the comments below what you think he did good, what you think he did bad, and what your overall decision is on positive or negative in the comments below at the end of this video. All right, let's roll the game film. In this first piece of footage, you're gonna see what basically every news station besides Fox painted the picture as. So they're showing all the ex-presidents, specifically Obama and the Clintons, joking around, having a good time. It's a lighthearted atmosphere. Everyone's having fun. And if you notice, behind them, everyone else is talking too. And then they say, when mean President Trump came in, the principal walked in, all the fun was sucked out of the room. I don't think that's probably accurate because it appears to me that when Trump comes in, he's the last person to be seated and the funeral is about to start. So everyone is quiet. If you think at a funeral, everyone's talking beforehand and when they get ready to start, everyone becomes quiet. So I think this clip was shown before the hush fell over the crowd before the funeral's about to start. I don't think it's because Trump came in, but clearly that's uh, the picture that they wanted to paint. So here's the main clip that everyone is analyzing and has beef with. So Trump walks in, it almost appears that he walks by that front row. The Clintons are slightly looking over. Trump takes off his coat. His wife's shaking hands with everybody, Obama, Michelle, and Bill. And now Trump leans over, shakes hands with Obama, and does so as well with Michelle Obama. Okay, so what everyone is saying is he missed both Clintons and Carter and his wife at the end there, all right? They're saying he snubbed them, okay? So the way that I'm looking at this, I'm gonna show you another clip that paints a little bit of a different picture. But the way, it, when I heard all the outrage about this, I thought it was gonna be something much more dramatic. So from my perspective, if you look back here, he sits down, he's leaning over, and now he leans over two people to shake Obama's hand, okay? So with the Clintons, what's he going to do? He's not Stretch Armstrong. He can't reach all the way down and shake everyone else at the end of the pew's hand, right? So that's, that's my perspective on that. Now, when Bill Clinton was looking over here, so if he wanted to engage Clinton, right after this, when Bill's looking down there, he could have given a little wave. Clearly, Hillary isn't looking. She wants no part of it, so she's not going to be engaged. He could have engaged Bill Clinton at that point. But this is some other things that I want you to think about. When he came in, we don't know any other variables about this situation. So they could have told him, listen, the TV cameras are rolling. We have to get this thing started within 30 seconds of when you walk down the aisle. We don't know anything like that. We know it's very quiet in there. So for him, about the only thing that he could have done, in my perspective, is to actually walk around the front here, in front of the pew, and go straight up to everyone and shake all their hands. Now. That's a viable thing you could have done. He could have done that. But it, it, the, another variable that we don't know is, is the hurry, right? It, it would be a bit rude if everyone's sitting there waiting, they're ready to go, all the news stations are running late, and he's slowly going there engaging everybody. Now, on the other hand, you are the president, so you have the liberty to basically do whatever you want. So if he really would have wanted to do that, if he really wanted to stand out and make a gesture that you know everything is forgotten, it's water under the bridge and shaken both Clinton's hands and Carter and his wife's hands, he could have done that. I don't think that's something that he wanted to do, but I don't think this is something like everyone's saying, where he basically walked by everyone and it's like, hey, I'm not gonna talk to you sucker, ignore you completely. I don't see it that way. Okay, so now he's coming down the aisle. You can see, look at the atmosphere. No one's joking around or laughing. It's not like Trump coming down the aisle is what created this sober environment. So I think that's definitely played up. But think about this, think about the logistics. They're walking down the aisle, they're not coming from in front of the other pew right here. So what they did to get up there, maybe they greeted somebody at the front, 
But I don't think he walked by everybody as much as it looks like from that perspective. So I don't think he was snuffing people as he was walking by. So to look at what really happened, do you think Trump was super pumped to say hello to the Clintons? No, of course not. And unless he had it in his plan to make a grand gesture to engage them, which he could have, he wasn't going to do that, right? He wasn't going to walk to the front of the pew in front of everybody while everybody's waiting and shake their hand. That just wasn't in his playbook. But he also didn't walk by them and ignore them by any means. And an argument could be made for he did the exact right thing. He reached as far as a human can reach to shake hands and engage. Maybe he didn't want to wave down to the Clintons because he figured figured they wouldn't be looking his way and then he would look bad for having waved at them and they weren't reciprocating then all of a sudden the news says oh the Clintons ignored Trump and he looked bad so I get Trump making that move I totally understand that but to boil it down I just don't think this was near as big of a deal or snub or ignore scene as the way it was played out in the news now before we wrap up I want to ask you do you know how to behave in challenging situations like this because I know what it feels like if you don't you feel like you're just kind of grabbing at straws. You hope what you do is right. And if it's not, you don't really know. And maybe you get a negative response one day and a positive response the next day. You don't know what's going on. That's a bad feeling. And if you do feel that way, I have a program called the Social Invincibility Program. You can touch or click up here in the left corner or go to socialinvincibility.com. And I'll actually teach you how to understand exactly what's going on around you so you can feel comfortable every time you go out in public and know how to get a good reaction from people. Know when you go up and introduce yourself that people are gonna like you and think positive of you and remember you. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go to socialinvincibility.com. So what are your thoughts on this? Try to back out your political beliefs. I know it's difficult, right? But what did he do right? What did he do wrong? And if you were gonna coach Trump right now and say, hey, you're gonna do this again, it's gonna be like it never happened, what do you do this time? What would you actually tell him to do? And if you like a little comedic break, there's a video that I analyzed of Trump and Emmanuel Macron of France where they're having a handshake in the middle of the street during a celebration in France and Trump rips his arm around the street like he's basically carrying a rag doll. It's 28 seconds and he doesn't let go. And Macron's like wife comes over and tries to help him. It's pretty unbelievable. If you haven't seen that video, you can click here to do so. Or if you haven't seen this other video down here, you can click there to watch that one and I'll talk to you there. A little back and forth. You can see it's pretty tight. The Trump oftentimes does the pat. 